two, one, you can start. Okay, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the iron oxide, which is not a glaze. So iron oxide basically is rust. So when you put it onto the masks or anything and you fire it just with iron oxide, it ends up looking like rusted metal. Where you see the light stuff, it has just been um, wiped off a little bit. So you can accent these masks by wiping, wiping off portions of them, okay? So this is my example mask right here. It's a really simple mask, but made to look better because of the way that they put iron oxide it, on it and then um, wiped off parts of it. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put it on. The cool thing about iron oxide too is you can put it on the front and the back and you don't need to worry about wiping it off because it will not melt. It will not stick to the, um, to the shelf in the kill. So the iron oxide comes in these little containers and um, I keep them in the back. If you want them, let me know and I'll get them out for you. Usually they separate, the water and the iron oxide separate. So you have to stir it really well. The iron oxide is heavy because it is rust basically. So it sinks to the bottom. Every time you put the brush in here, you wanna stir it up a little bit. Try not to get this on your hands. It will stain for a while. Um, I will get some gloves in here um, so that you can wear gloves. Always wear uh, uh, an apron and always put down paper because it stains. It's like rust. It is rust. So um, I don't have gloves on right now. I'm just going to be careful not to get it onto my hands. So I'm going to glaze um, a mask, another simple mask that is going to look really good with the iron oxide. I'm going to show you how easy it is to put this on. So I'm stirring up the, the iron oxide with the brush. I'm not going to worry about the fact that it runs all over the place and I'm just going to try and evenly paint this. You'll notice it's a lot easier to put on than the glaze and it stains the clay really fast. And you'll notice I put a, a bunch on the brush and I just let it kind of run all over the place. What you want to look for is any of the white spots where you didn't get any of the iron oxide in. Make sure to look for those when you're done and cover them all up. I'm just going to put this back on the table and just work with it down here. This will not take me very long. Try to work at least, um, try not to splatter because it can splatter. But that's why I have the paper down. So this is where your additive pieces and your texture really, really comes in handy. This particular mask has no texture added to it, but it does have a lot of added pieces for the hair and the beard and the mouth. And I will show you how when I'm done with putting the iron oxide and I go to wipe it down, um, how it's going to really help to make this mask look even better. Can someone please get me a sponge and rinse it out for me? Okay, so I'm going to turn this over. I've hit the front of it. Thank you very much. And I'm going to put iron oxide on the back. You know, you don't see the back when it's on the wall, but when it's not on the wall, it looks better if it all looks the same. So that's why I quickly put a iron oxide on the back. It ends up making it look like a, like I said, like a, a metal sculpture instead of clay. So these holes are meant for string to add even more hair onto this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna show you. See how there's the white spots in there? That's what you're looking for. When you finish, you want to just try and make sure to have all of those covered up because if you don't cover up the white spots, when this thing is finished, you have a really dark mask and then some really light spots and it, they really show up. So you want to make sure to cover them up. Make sure that you got them all covered up. The holes, I'm not so worried about because I'm putting string in them. If I'm not putting string in them, you want to make sure to have um, the iron oxide get into the holes as well. Okay, now, with, um, with these masks, so check it out, this is the mask with iron oxide on it. 
This is what's cool about um, iron oxide. You take a sponge, and I'm going to need to get a bowl of water to rinse this out. But this is how I get the highlights on here. So you don't want to take all of the iron oxide off, but you want to take some of it off to reduce reduce the amount of iron oxide that's on there and lighten up I mean, lighten up these uh, the hair coming down. So obviously the more you lighten it up, the lighter it's going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to work on this and then we'll get back and I'll, I'll show it on film when I'm done with wiping it up and I'll show you how it looks once I finish wiping everything up. So you can cut now.